Hi, welcome to Maggie's Kitchen. Today, I would like to share a recipe of how to make apple custard tart. It looks beautiful, tastes amazingly delicious. Let me quickly show you how to make it. Start with a tart shell. In food processor, add a 250 gram all-purpose flour, 35 gram of white sugar, one teaspoon of dry yeast. The yeast will make tart shell softer and fluffier, will not make dough rise. 170 gram of cold butter, cut into small cube. Using pulse button to mix flour and cold butter until reach the texture like a wet sand. Add one large egg, still using pulse button until you see the mixture start to form a dough ball. Then transfer everything to the working bench. Using both hands, try to push everything together. Do not knead, then wrap it. Let the dough rest for 30 minutes. After 30 minutes, rub in the dough with the end of your palm. This will break the lumps and make the dough very smooth, no crack when rolling. Now the dough is ready to use. Place the dough between two parchment papers. Slowly roll it out until the thickness has reached about 3 ml. If the dough is too soft to handle, put it back to the freezer for a few minutes. I'm using 8 inches deep dish. You can see my dough landed, but not perfectly centered. But no worries, the high fat contents make this dough very easy to handle. The leftover extra dough can be freezed or can be used for making cookies. Tar shell needs to be blind baked before adding filling. Prick a hose with a fork, then cover with a one layer of parchment paper, two layer of aluminum paper. Adding the weights, which is soya bean here I'm using, bake at a preheated 425 Fahrenheit for about 15 minutes until the edge is slightly brown. Then remove the weights. Continue baking at 325 Fahrenheit for about 10 minutes until the bottom is firm and slightly brown. Brush with egg wash right away and continue baking at 325 Fahrenheit for another 2-3 to three minutes. This way will seal the tar shell and protect it from liquidy fillings. Now the tar shell is ready. Let's prepare the custard. Knead two large eggs. Add two tablespoons of fine semolina. A quarter cup of all-purpose flour. Mix well and set aside. In a saucepan, Add 2 cups of milk, 65 grams of sugar. Heat it up with a medium to high heat until you see a little bubble all around. Then remove from the heat. Temper the eggs to slowly bring up the temperature of egg. Pour the mixture back to the saucepan. Heat it up with a medium to low heat until it's boiling. Then continue to boil the mixture for 2-3 to three minutes. Remove from the heat, then immediately add 50 grams of cold butter, 1 teaspoon of vanilla. I also add 1 tablespoon of maple syrup for extra flavor. Mix well and set aside. Now let's prepare the apples. Preferably using apple not to have too much juice and can still maintain its shape after baking. Peel and keep one piece for later decoration. Remove a core. Let's assemble the tart. Pour the custard to the tart shell. Cut the apple to thin slices. Arrange them on top of custard. Then roll that a piece of peel reserved earlier. Put it in the center. Melt some butter, add a dash of cinnamon, one teaspoon of vanilla, then brush the butter mixture on apple. Finally, sprinkle some sugar on top. Bake at 375 Fahrenheit 
for about 55 minutes, then broil for two to three minutes until the top is brown. Brush with honey water. It will give a shiny look to the tart. Let it cool down before cutting open. Caramelized tasty apple, melting mouth vanilla custard, with a hint of maple syrup, with a buttery sandy tar shell, all in one bite. This is not an apple tart. This will be the apple custard tart you will ever have. I hope you will try soon. As always, thank you for watching. See you next time.